welcome back all professionals in this room. As I was mentioning before the break, that we should be cognizant of the unprofessional traits as well. Here are my top two takeaways of unprofessional conduct. <coughs> First one, non-disclosure. We are all aware of the news of two-year ban of famous Bangladeshi cricketer Shakib Al Hasan. The reason? He did not disclose booking information to ICC. A professional is privy to special information by the virtue of his or her role. It is always important to be aware of the consequences of divulging or not divulging information. The second one is passing on the blame. When things go wrong, many people often fault their juniors. It goes against the ability and the power of inclusion and ownership. Just like a poor workman who blames his tools, a bad professional blames his associates. So these are the top two traits which I think would be very highly rated for an unprofessional conduct. Now let us begin with the fourth and final session that is evaluation session. Welcoming feedback is an important part of any professional's growth. The ability to freely seek feedback and act on it requires great effort and practice. We are lucky that in Toastmasters we have a full session on providing feedback. Without further ado, I would like to introduce General Evaluator for the day, Toastmaster Sarthak Agarwal. According to Toastmaster Sarthak, a professional must be sincere, disciplined and committed towards work. Toastmaster Sarthak is a budding Toastmaster. He is pursuing BCom honours from Delhi University and wants to be a competent communicator and excel in the corporate world. Toastmaster Sarthak, <coughs> please welcome to 